it's Jai here from Beyond Wiz. Today I'm going to take you through upgrading your firmware on your V2 via USB. Now the V2 is a little different from your T-Series and the U-Series and how you upgrade the firmware. We use a new chipset um, in this unit so of course it's a, a little different. So today I'll sort of walk you end to end through upgrading the firmware via USB if you need to. Uh, the first thing we want to do is grab a USB stick and plug it in a USB slot. Um, we recommend like a 4 gig or an 8 gig USB stick. You can have other things on the stick, you don't necessarily have to have it uh, blank, but it's probably the best bet um, if, you, if you do. Uh, so if you get a new stick, it's, it's, it's usually going to be in uh, the format's usually going to be okay to work, but if, if it's not working for some reason, you want to format the stick in a FAT32 format. So to do that, I've got my stick on the K drive, so you just right stick, uh, right click on it on the left hand side here and click format. And out of these options, you'll see that uh, FAT32 is one of the options. You can just do a quick format and start, and that'll format your stick ready to go. And that's all done. Uh, so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to download the actual latest version of the firmware. So you just go to beyondwiz.com.au and click on the downloads link at the top of the page. And then from the following page you want to click on V2 because that's what we're downloading. And you see here you've got the firmware version here. This will always be the latest version will be listed here. Um, so you can simply click on it. You can simply uh, left click on it and that'll download usually to your downloads folder or, or you'll be able to choose a location on your PC. Um, but just to cut out sort of a step, if we just right click on it and then you just go save link as you can actually save it straight to your K drive here, which is my USB drive, um, and that'll save you um, downloading it to your PC first and then copying it across. Um, with a Mac, I'm pretty sure that it'll download and extract the the zip file automatically. Um, you can comment below if, if that's not the case, but I'm pretty sure it does that. Um, so. So yeah, so you won't have to go through the extract process, but when I um, do end up extracting this, I'll show you the files that are the important ones that we need to get off, uh, to get over onto the USB drive um, at the end. Okay, so that is just about downloaded now. And here we go, so it's actually up on the drive now in the zip file. So now we're going to extract it. So if you've if you've downloaded to your PC, you want to copy this whole zip file across onto USB stick. It's easy to extract uh, once on the stick, so it's all in one spot. Um, so you just right click on it and you want to click on extract all. Now this is where you want to actually delete this line here. We want to extract it straight to the USB stick without actually being in another folder. If you left this info up here it would create another folder and put it in that folder and the V2 wouldn't find it for the upgrade. So we want to ex uh, delete this and just extract it to the root of, of the K drive or the USB drive. So now we're going to click on extract. Now that that um, extract process is going to take around about a minute. So while that is uh, unzipping, let's go over to your V2 and get that prepared for the upgrade. So what we want to do is we want to uh, switch the V2 off at the rear switch on the back of the unit itself. Uh, remove all other USB devices. So if you've got your hard drive and your, your um, extra tuner or Wi-Fi, just connect, disconnect those uh, devices. Uh, but you still want it connected to your TV, so you want to make sure your HDMI is connected to your TV. TV and that your TV's on because when we start the upgrade process um, there's actually an on-screen on, on menu that we need to navigate through for this process which we'll show you in a minute uh, which is a bit different from the uh, the previous models. Okay so that has now successfully extracted so what you're left with now is you're left with the original zip file um, this is not important so you can delete it straight off if you want or you can leave it there it doesn't really matter um, if, and you're left with the uh, USB underscore update bin and the image version file so these are the two files that are important now later on this may change a little bit you might have extra files here um, 
just remember that, that when you do a download with us, um, anything that is inside the zip file when you extract it needs to be put on the USB stick. But for this version, we've just got the USB update bin and the image version. So if you've extracted to your PC or if you've got a Mac and it's auto extracted, you just want to copy these two files over onto the root of the USB stick. And by root, I mean the top level of the stick. Okay, so what we can do now is we can um, safely eject the, the stick because that's all set up. So we'll click on the uh, eject. And you want to now take it over to your uh, to your V2. Now if we've got the V2 off, other USB devices are disconnected. Um, so we've uh, put this USB stick in the rear USB port. You can put it in either the USB 3 or the USB 2 port, it shouldn't matter. Then what we want to do is, let me just bring up this video, is we want to, so we've got the USB, this is just a video I did earlier, we've got the USB stick in the rear port, this is connected to your TV via HDMI, so you can, when we turn on the box, you're actually going to see um, it load up, um, the big Beyond Wiz logo load up on your TV, and then it'll launch a menu. So what we actually want to do is we want to then hold down this middle power button here with the finger, with our finger, like hold it down or your, th or your thumb, and then you want to switch, at the, switch the unit T2 on at the rear while holding this button in. What you're then going to do is you're going to see this say update, and this light go red, and then you can release that, okay? And it's going to enter recovery mode, basically. So just show you again, uh, hold down the power button, switch on at the rear until you see update on the front display and then the let that go. Then what that's going to do is that's going to open up, uh, launch into when it boots up, you're going to see this menu here, which is the recovery menu. Now the first three items here are startup one, two, and three. This is for a future, um, uh, a future feature where you can actually uh, dual boot or multi boot into different images. So Beyond Wiz is an image that's built on an Enigma 2 um, uh, backend, uh, which is an open source sort of platform, I guess. Um, so around the world, and especially Europe and the UK, there's other images, open source images that are out there like open TV and open Bix and that sort of stuff. So in the future you'll be able to have multiple images already preloaded on your box and you can simply boot into each image um, by doing what I just did which is hold down the power button and then pressing and switching on at the rear. You can then if you've got a different image in startup one, if you click startup one might be on Wiz, might be beyond Wiz, startup two might be open ATV, you can scroll down to that to startup two and it'll launch into the open ATV uh, firmware. Um, so that's a little option that, that, that will be coming soon. Uh, recover from USB is what we're going to select now. The other option is recover from network. So this again is not active um, at time of release, but you'll be able to, say you're having problems with you've installed a dodgy plugin or something and you want to actually reflash the firmware just to get a fresh start, you won't actually have to go and download the image and put it on a stick. You'll be able to just simply go down to recover from network. Of course your V2 needs to be connected to the internet um, and that'll download automatically onto the box the latest version and upgrade it without the need to go through the USB process. But for now we're going to select um, recover from USB and you're going to get this menu pop up here on the screen <clears throat> which will show you the download progress. So first it downloads the file to the flash and then it'll burn the actual um, upgrade to, to, the, uh, to the unit as well. So that takes approximately about a minute, minute and a half, I think, from memory. Um, and then once it's completed, you'll get a, an upgrade successful on the screen. So just to show you what's happening on the front display at the same time, um, you'll get the, the loading. Again, that'll count up to, to 100. Then you get the, the, the flash as well, um, which will also count up. And then on the finish, when that finishes, you'll get a little successful sign here as well, which I think is S -S -double -C, S -U -double -C. Um, and then it will boot. So the one thing we want to do here once it boots, it's going to boot up into the start setup wizard um, from the start, or if you've created a backup, it'll ask you if you want to restore from backup. When it gets to that, let it sort of boot through and get to that stage. And then what we want to do is we want to switch the unit off the ear or switch the V2 off of the rear, remove the upgrade USB stick. It's, it's important to remove that. We want to take that out and then replug in your hard drive, your extra tuner or your, your Wi-Fi and everything like that, uh, and then switch it back on. Okay, and that'll boot up into the setup wizard or you can restore from, um, from backup as well. Um, 
So that's basically the progress, uh, the process, I should say, of, of upgrading your V2 via USB. Um, yeah, all the production models from the first release are going out with the latest firmware, so there shouldn't be a need to. Uh, online updates will be available, um, as they have been in the past, so you might get a message pops on the screen to upgrade. So this is basically just the sort of last resort where you need to recover um, your firmware, or if there's a major release that we need to, to send out and say we need you to upgrade via USB, this is what you'll need to do. Alright, thanks for watching and enjoy your new V2. Thank <laughs> you.